This video is on network reconnaissance and discovery. As a security expert, you must know common tools that are used frequently for network discovery and reconnaissance. First, we have Tracer Traceroute. This is a command line utility that you can use to trace the path that an IP packet takes to its destination. It basically allows you to map an entire path between two devices to know what routes may be between point A and point B. This uses the tracer command for Windows and trace route command for Linux, Unix, Mac OS. The information displayed by the trace route command is received by the router on the network via ICMP, time to live exceeded error message. You can easily send a packet out to the network and those packets will cause the routers to create an error message and send that back. The trace route command uses those error messages to build the route. Tracer options are available in all operating systems as command line feature, but you could also get visual trace route, graphical and other GUI based trace route applications like Path Analyzer Pro, Visual Route, and 3D Trace Route if you want something better. Then we have NS Lookup Dig. Microsoft Windows use NS Lookup while Mac OS and Linux use Dig. You can use this to look up information from DNS servers like IP addresses, cache times, canonical names, and much more. Then we have IP config if config. This determines TCP IP and network adapter information and some additional IP details. In Windows, the command used is IP config, whereas Linux and Mac, the command used is if config. Then we have Nmap, which stands for Network Mapper. In a nutshell, this tool offers host discovery, port discovery, service discovery, operating system version information, MAC address information, service version detection, and vulnerability and exploit information can be found using Nmap scripts. Next, we have Ping, Path Ping. Ping simply provides information about network latency and network loss at intermediate hops between a source and a destination. This command sends multiple echo request messages to each router between a source and destination over a period of time and then computes the results based on packets returned from each router. PathPing combines the functionality of ping and that of a tracer. The advantages of PathPing over ping and traceroute are that each node is pinged as the result of single command and that the behavior of nodes is studied over an extended time period rather than default ping samples of four messages or default traceroute single route trace. Next we got HPing. HPing is an open source tool that sys admins can use to find and fix problems in their network. It can send custom ICMP, UDP, TCP packets and display target replies like ping does with ICMP replies, it handles fragmentation and arbitrary packets, body and size, and can be used to transfer files under supported protocols. You could also use it to test firewall rules, perform port scanning, test network performance using different protocols, do path MTU discovery, perform trace route like actions under different protocols, fingerprint remote operating systems, audit TCP IP stacks, and so much more. And HPing is scriptable. Next, we have NETSTAT, which stands for Network Statistics. The NETSTAT command is used to show network status. It displays network connections for TCP, both incoming and outgoing, routing tables, and number of network interface and network protocol statistics. Then we have NETCAT, which is a CLI for reading and writing data between two computer networks. The communication happens using either TCP or UDP. Then we have IP scanners. IP scanner is a command tool to scan the network for IP addresses. It usually uses a number of different techniques to identify and display the devices and port numbers on your systems. Then we have ARP. Our command displays and modifies internet to adapter address translation tables used by the address in network and communication management. The ARP command displays the current ARP entry for the host specified by the host name variable. Then we have route. The route command is used to view device's routing table and help to find the best possible way in which packets will go. Then we have curl. The curl command stands for client URL, uniform resource locator. This command refers to URL that you can use to access web pages, perform FTP, or receive emails. This allows you to grab raw data from different sites and display it on the terminal screen. Then we have Harvester. The Harvester is a command line tool included in Kali Linux that acts as a wrapper for a variety of search engines and is used to find email accounts, subdomain names, virtual hosts, open ports, banners, and employee names related to domain from different public sources. It's basically an open source intelligence tool. Then we have Sniper. It is an automated scanner that can be used during penetration tests to enumerate and scan for vulnerabilities. Sniper integrates different recon tools into one framework to provide one set of queries and outputs for all different functions. 
There are many ways to configure the way Sniper runs, and some of these are very intrusive, while others are specifically built to run in stealth mode. Then we have Scanless. Scanless is an automated tool developed in Python language, which performs port scanning on the target host. One of the problems you may find when performing port scan is that your device is easily identified as a scan source. And to handle this, you can run scan from different hosts that will act as a proxy for port scanning. And the utility that does this is scanless. Then we have DNS enum. DNS enum is a multi-threaded Perl script to enumerate DNS information of a domain and to discover non-contiguous IP blocks. There is a great deal of information you can gather and many hosts you can identify from that DNS server. However, there are also holes that you can find using a number of different techniques, and DNS enum allows you to do this. Then we have Nessus, which is an open source network vulnerability scanner that uses common vulnerability and exposure architecture for easy cross-linking between compliant security tools. Nessus employs Nessus attack scripting language, a simple language that describes individual threads and potential attacks. This is one of the most popular vulnerability scanners because of its large database. They can easily find different known vulnerabilities. It's basically a scanning tool that has extensive reporting help to identify vulnerability. It also helps resolve vulnerabilities on the system. Then we have Cuckoo. Cuckoo is a sandbox that is specifically written to run programs inside and identify any malware. It's basically a virtual environment that consists of many different operating systems, including Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and Android, and it can perform API calls to identify what application is sending network traffic.